What's going on guys, Tony Maritato here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna sign up for a brand new Reimbursify account. If you don't know what Reimbursify is, I'll post a link to a video with my interview of Dr. Thakar. He is one of the founders and chief medical officer for Reimbursify. Reimbursify is basically a platform that allows you to submit claims for out-of-network reimbursement. So whether you're a clinician providing out-of-network services to patients and the patient wants to submit a claim, or you are providing services on a cash basis and you wanna give your patients the opportunity to receive a component of reimbursement, Reimbursify is about the best opportunity out there right now to allow the patient to get paid for some of the services that you're delivering. So let's go ahead and create the account for the first time. I'm on the home page right now. What you're gonna do is across the top, you're gonna click on the practitioner tab and you're gonna go to view plans and register your practice. Now we have three options here. So for most small providers, whether you're a mobile provider, you have a brick and mortar clinic, um, we're just gonna start with the practice basic, which is a free plan. But the most important part in this is it allows you to register your practice information with Reimbursify so that when you do give this information to your patient, they can find you more easily and submit the claims more easily. I've got an entire program coming out teaching you how to leverage a platform like this to grow your private practice, your mobile therapy offer. But basically we're gonna click select this plan. We're gonna come down here. So the questions are how many total practitioners are you registering today? Most of you are gonna select one please enter the name of the practice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in my practice information, Total Therapy Solutions, LLC. What type of practice is this? And so here we have physical or occupational therapy, I'm just curious, here speech therapy. So all three of our disciplines are covered. So I'm gonna go with physical or occupational therapy. Please enter your website, so https colon slash slash totaltherapysolutions.com. Let's go next. And so this is where we can get some information. So lead practitioner, that's gonna be me. I'm gonna put in my information. Lead practitioner, individual MPI. So I don't know my MPI off the top of my head. So I'm gonna to go to the MPI registry. I'm gonna come in here, put in my name. This is me. I'm gonna go ahead and copy my individual MPI. And my guess is they're gonna ask for the type two business MPI, but uh, email address. So always use your work email, please confirm. TotalTherapySolutions.com. Are you the person completing this form, the lead practitioner? In most cases, it's gonna be yes, because a lot of you don't have administrative staff. Is there a main or administrative email? It's gonna be the same thing. Tony at TotalTherapySolutions.com. Let's go next. So what did I, oh, credentials, suffix, so PT. So the suffix is required, mailing address. This is gonna be your main business mailing address, Overbrook Drive, Suite D, oh wait. Yeah, okay, Suite D, Monroe, Ohio, 45050. Primary practice address, yes, practice, uh, phone number, so 513-539-2886. I obviously don't call my practice enough. Uh, tax identification number for this address. I'm going to have to come back and grab this. Type 2 MPI. Let's grab that real quick. So I'm going to go back to uh, the MPI registry. I'm going to type in my business. do a search. So this one is me. Uh, do you have any additional, do you have any additional 
So we do have a second location. I'm not going to put in the second location right now. I'm going to leave. Let's see what happens. If I hit yes, eh, it's going to leave it for what I've got. So I need to get my tax identification number. Um, for those of you who don't necessarily realize, sometimes Florida actually will have, oh wait, no. I need record search name. I think Florida actually, yeah, they have it listed publicly. So I'm going to grab that. Drop that in there. Okay, let's go next. Uh, Reimbursify basic final step. Where do you send reimbursify patient claim information card? See the photo. Oh, okay. I prefer to receive only PDF of the card to the mailing address. So if I want these little cards, like actually physically delivered, and these would be cards that we hand out to the patient to help them, they'll actually send us physical hard copies of these cards. So I'm going to say to the mailing address listed previously, um, how did you hear about us? Word of mouth from a blog, referral, uh, therapy sites. I, I don't even remember, honestly. I'm going to go with YouTube. Because I know I watched a bunch of interviews approximately how many patient visits do you have per week? So we're, we're between 46 and 100. What percentage are out of network? Less than 25%. Are there other licensed practitioners in your practice? Not, to, not right now. All of your initial growth has been through word of mouth. Would love to send a brief intro email about reimbursify to one or more of your colleagues. Okay, so they want basically like that's an interesting question for you guys to consider. I'm not telling you to do this with your clients, but when you receive a referral, right? So they're saying all of our initial growth has been through word of mouth. And I'm sure you guys say the same thing. Most of your growth has been through word of mouth. We would love to send a brief intro email about reimbursify, reimbursify to one or more of your colleagues. So I don't feel like this is the right time for them to ask for a referral. I don't have a relationship. I don't have rapport. I have no idea the quality of the service. There is nothing here. Yes, I'm willing to sign up. No, I'm not willing to share contact information with associates until you have proven value to me. So I would have reserved this question for later in the process. I don't know what kind of conversion they get, but to me, this question is the wrong question at the wrong time. So I'm gonna say no, because even though I'm an affiliate for this, I don't want to share that kind of information. Okay, so thank you for registering with Reimbursify, free practice basic plan to help your patients claim their money back. Um, I think they can come up with a better tagline. I'm gonna think about that because I do find that to be fun for me. Please confirm that your information in the MPI database is correct so patients can file claims without delays. I know mine is. Uh, check out our FAQ for practitioners. I've already looked at that, but this is, you know, great resource for you guys. And that's it. So our this video has been 9 minutes, 17 seconds. We are finished signing up for our free level account. Guys, I will share this along with a link in the comp in the uh, video description for the interview I do with Dr. Takar, which is scheduled for later on today. Otherwise, thank you so much. I'll catch you on the next video.